As Venezuela continues its aggression against Guyana, opposition leader Orby Norton is calling on the government to take steps to curb the further influx of Venezuelan migrants in Esequibo. Norton was speaking at his weekly press conference at Congress Place Sophia today. Noting that one of Venezuela's strategies seems to, to be to populate Esequibo with Venezuelans in pursuance of its spurious claim to our territory. Five, gather and share accurate information on the number, location, citizenship status of Venezuelan migrants currently in Guyana. Apart from the children of Guyanese who are entitled to become citizens of Guyana, there must be a halt of the issuance of birth certificates and national ID cards to Venezuelans. The government has either not heeded our, our, our advice or has moved in a half-hearted manner. Under Venezuela's escalating recklessness, the PPP government can no longer afford to act alone with uncertainty, inadequacy, and hesitancy. There is need for a national approach to this crisis. The opposition is also calling for the establishment of a high-level border security commission comprising the parliamentary opposition or the key political and civil society stakeholders as well as experts in international law and national security and diplomacy. On the measures announced by the Nicolas Maduro-led administration, Norton said the government needed to urgently lobby the international community to reject Venezuela's lawlessness. He posited that Venezuela's claim to have the right to issue licenses to businesses in Esequibo must be rejected by Guyana. According to Norton, a full-fledged campaign must be launched to maintain the status quo and Guyana's control over Sikribo. The parliamentary oppos opposition support for this action is guaranteed. Guyana must deal with Venezuela as an adversary that is hell-bent on cheating us out of our territory that has been legally Guyana as a result of the arbitral award of 1899 which constitute a full and perfect settlement of the border between Guyana and Venezuela. We call on the people of Guyana to stand firm. We in the parliamentary opposition will continue to do all in our powers to defend our country's ter territorial integrity and sovereignty. The parliamentary opposition wishes to register our support to our armed forces and to reassure them of our support. In addition, we call on the government to bring to fruition Article 33 of the Ghana Constitution, which states, and I quote, it is the duty of every citizen to defend the state, unquote. The parliamentary opposition wishes to place on record our appreciation for the support of the international community and many political opposition parties in the Caribbean region that are openly in support of Guyana against Venezuela's spurious claim to our Esequibo. Venezuela's illegal claims to Guyana's Esequibo and the rejection of the ruling of the International Court of Justice have been condemned by leaders around the world. Many have said Venezuela must abide by the rule of law.